Okay, let's try to attempt uh, to answer this question. The pH of 0 0.02 molar concentration of uh, an unknown weak acid is 3.7. What is the pKa of this acid? So we all know that the pH is basically dependent on the negative log of uh, the hydrogen ion concentration at equilibrium. So what is equal to our pH? And then our pH in this case, we all know it, we're from what we're seeing, 3.7. And then we can attempt to find the hydrogen ion concentration. First of all, we can divide by negatives, both sides. If we divide by negative, that becomes positive and that becomes a negative. And then from what we know, this is having a base 10 there. So from our logs, our hydrogen ion concentration becomes equal to 10 raised to the power negative 3.7. So that is going to give us the hydrogen ion concentration. We can't, no need of us simplifying it. We use it the way it is for now. Now, what are we trying to attempt? We're trying to find the pKa. So we also need to know that the pKa is basically determined as the negative log of what? Our Ka. So we need to first of all find K for us to be able to find the pKa. Now, we're dealing with a non-weak acid, so we can use uh, HA to denote that. So say HA is our acid. And then from what we're seeing, under dissociation, we expect our A to denote the conjugates, right? So the conjugate base, which is going to be A minus, and then we have a proton being produced there. So looking at the equation that we have, we can come up with a K expression, which is going to be dependent on our products, and then divided by what? Divided by the acid itself. Now in the question, we can clearly see that we've been given the, the concentration of our weak acid. So we already have this one covered. So we already have a weak acid there given now the hydrogen ion concentration has also been calculated from our calculations we have it which is a uh, but then we don't know a but looking at the ratio what we've come up since this is a known acid we are assuming this is i in the ratio of one to one so therefore the conjugate base concentration is equal to the proton concentration so therefore our k is going to be for our a we have 10 to the power negative 3.7 again we also have the same for our our hydrogen ion there divided by the acid concentration which is 0 0.02 from there you can get your calculator and try to perform your calculations so first of all we have 10 to the power negative 3.7 and then if you get to square that since there are two multiplying by themselves what do we expect to have so our k is equal to so the numerator if you square that um, having a value of 3.98 times 10 to the power negative 8 divided by 0 0.02. So if you divide by 0 0.02, the value what I'm getting is uh, 1.99 times 10 to the power negative 6. So we have a value of Ka. We should be able to find the pKa. So our pKa, therefore, is going to be the negative log of a value that we have. So negative log of 1.99 times 10 to the power negative 6. So log of that. So the value that I'm getting for our pK is basically equal to 5.7. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching.